Okay, class, today we're going to learn just some basic um, terms in geometry that you're going to use throughout your entire uh, math career in geometry. So you might think, like, why do we have to learn all these, you know? If you think of it like building a house, you have to lay the foundation first. If you don't have the foundation, a house will collapse, right? So if you know all this stuff, you'll be able to use it in the future. So who can tell me what this first one is? Yes. Mike. Is that a point? It's a point, yeah. And what a point is, it represents a location. So where is that location? You know, where does that point live? It lives in, well, let me put the point up. A point lives in what we call a plane. It can live in a plane. And what a plane is, I want you to think about it like this. It's a flat surface, and let's think about maybe the board. Let's say the board is a plane, and it extends infinitely in all directions. And you can have points anywhere on this plane. You can have a, a number of things, and we're going to get to those. So this is a plane. See, we have points on the plane, all these points on the plane. Okay. So now, let's say we have two points. So two points, and they can be connected by what we call a line segment. And does anybody know what the difference between a line segment and a line is? Yes. A line segment can be measured, and a line cannot. Very good. Why can a line not be measured? It's not measurable. Because it goes on forever. Right. It extends in both directions, often to infinity. But a line segment has two endpoints. Those are our points, and it can be measured. It has a, 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 a length, essentially. Post that out. Okay. So what if we have a point and then a line that extends off of that point off into infinity in one direction? Does anybody know what that's called? Like in this picture, we have a point, and it's going to extend off into to infinity, just in that one direction. Nothing extends off in any other direction. Do we know what that's called? A, a ray. So this is called a ray. Okay. So given a ray, what if we have another ray with the same endpoint? So let's say B, point B is the endpoint here. We have ray B, BC, ray BC extending off into infinity in that direction, and ray BD off into this direction. As long as these two rays aren't the same point, they're going to form an angle. So that's what we have here is an angle. And what an angle is, it has a set measure, so you can measure what an angle is, and that measure is going to be in between 0 and 180 degrees. If the, if the angle is 180 degrees, well, really, it's not an angle. What would it be? A line. It would be a line. Very good. Okay. So what if we have two lines, and these two lines will never touch? At any point, they never touch. They're called parallel. So they're going to extend off into infinity, and at no point will they ever intersect. Okay? And that's called a parallel line. Okay. So if we have two lines now that do intersect, and at their intersection, they form a 90 degree angle. What do we call this? Yes? Perpendicular. Perpendicular lines. Very good. Two lines are perpendicular if the angle where they intersect forms 90 degrees. Very good. Okay. So if we have a line now, and on this line, we have, let's say, four points. So four points on this line, they're all on the same line, we'll call that collinear. Makes sense, right? Yeah. They're all on the same line. Very good. Okay. But what if we have like three, or four, we'll stick with four points, four points that aren't on the same line. They don't lie on the same line. No two of them will lie on the same line. What do you think we would call that? So if they do lie on the same line, it's collinear, but what if they don't? What would we call it? 
Not, yes. Not collinear. Non collinear. Very good. Very good. Pretty simple, right? Okay. All right. Now we're going to clear off the board and we're going to do a little activity to practice this. Okay, class. Now I'm going to hand you a sheet with all the formal definitions of the terms that we just learned. And you can go over these, and I want you to try to match them to the diagrams and the term so that in the future you know what they are and what they mean. And what we're going to do now, I'm going to give you nine index cards. I'll have you count them out. Count them out, nine for each of you. And we're going to create uh, flashcards for you to study with in the future. Everybody have nine? Okay. So how we're going to do this is I'm going to draw up the diagram on the board. So let's say I want someone to tell me what this is. What is that? Anybody know? Yes. Is it a point? It's a point. Okay. So what you're going to do then is you're going to draw on one side of your note card the diagram, so you're going to draw the point, we'll call the point A, and then flip it over to the other side, and you're going to write point. Okay? So that whenever you go through and you're practicing, you can look at the diagram, think, oh, I know what that is, it's a point, and then check. Yes, you got it. Okay. So. We have the first one, get another uh, new index card, and let's see, what's the next one, okay, who can tell me, okay, so who knows what this is, remember it's where the points live. You know, darling? It's a plane. It's a plane. Very good. Okay. This is a plane. Very good. Okay. Everybody have their note card made? No. Okay. So now, you can tell me what Who can tell me what that is? That is a line segment, right? Remember? From before? If we have two points and they're connected by a line, and they don't extend off into infinity, they're line segments. And Mikey, what can you tell me about a line segment? It can be measured. It can be measured. Very good. This is a line segment. Okay, very good. Ready for the next one? Okay, so if we have a point that extends off into infinity, has a line coming from it that extends off into infinity in one direction, who could tell me what that is? Yes. It's a ray. It's a ray. Very good. We'll give that point a name. Okay, this is a ray. The next one? Yep. Okay, so if we have two rays that share a common endpoint, okay, so we have an endpoint, a 
array going off that way, array going off this way, and they form something. They're not the same array, they form something, and we call that what? Yes? An angle. An angle. They form an angle. Very good. So this is diagram of an angle. Everybody ready? Okay. So two lines never meet. They never intersect. Going off into infinity. And at no point will they ever cross each other. What do we have? What can we say about these lines? That they're parallel? Okay. Very good. Let's write that down. No. Okay. Okay, so um, everybody ready to move on? You got that one? Okay. So let's say these lines do intersect, and when they intersect, they form an angle. And that angle is 90 degrees. We have a line here, a line here, and they form a 90 degree angle. What do we call that? What, do we, what, what can we say about these two lines? They're what? Yes. Perpendicular. They're perpendicular lines. Very good. Yes, perpendicular lines. I wrote really crooked there. Okay. Everybody got that? Yep. Yep. Created your note card? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So, Mikey, if we have points, let's say we have three points and they're all on the same line, what can we say about those points? Are they collinear? They're collinear. So if we have, let's say, three points, point one, point two, and then we'll point three way over here, and we have a line, they're all on, they're all on the same line, they're said to be collinear. Okay, very good. Ready? The next one? So Darlene, what if, what if um, these points aren't all on the same line? So they're not all contained on the same line. Let's say, let's say A and B are on the same line, but C is up here somewhere. So what can we say about those three points? Non-collinear. They're non-collinear, very good. Non-collinear. Okay, so now that we have our flashcards made for visual vocabulary words, we're going to play a little game with them. What we're going to do is, do you mind if I use your, your cards that you made to show you? Okay. So what we're going to do is, I want one pile with all of the terms face up. So you can't see the diagram. Don't look at the diagrams. And then I want you to scatter all your diagrams out on the desk like this. And whoever's turn it is, so let's say it's my turn first. I'm going to look. I see parallel. So now I need to try to match parallel, find out which diagram goes with parallel. So let's say I pick up this one. I think it's this. I really think that's parallel. Look at it. Nope. It's line statement. It's not parallel. So my turn's over. 
So I'll pass it to the next person. So the ne next person looks at it and thinks, oh, I know what this one is. Here's the diagram for it. Yep, it's right. You take those, it's a match, and you put it into your pile. <coughs> then it's, then it's the, blue, the uh, other person's turn next. So whenever the other person goes, they'll look. I think they know it. Yep, I think I know it. I think it's this one. It's a match, and then it goes in their pile. At the end, whoever has more matches wins. Okay? All right, let's try it. 